Hey guys, this is John. Happy New Year to everyone. Hope 2016 is going the way you would like it to so far, chess and otherwise. So last I talked to you guys, I was in Las Vegas for the North American Open. And unfortunately, I had to withdraw from that tournament after four rounds because I got very sick. I came down with either food poisoning or norovirus. And I was basically vomiting uncontrollably for about 18 hours straight. Uh, well, not straight, but off and on in a lot of agony. <laughs> I won't give you guys the details. Um, but yeah, it was a bad time and I had to just withdraw from the tournament because I was physically unwell. I just could not play my games. It would have been virtually impossible. Um, so that was a bummer because I was performing at about 2515 FIDE. So above 2500 and uh, in pushing for that 2600 FIDE performance trying to make a GM norm, I felt pretty good. But um, yeah, had to pack it in and go back to Minnesota. Um, Turns out I also came down with a cold a couple days later, which I'm kind of recovering from now. You could probably hear that reflected in my most recent videos. But I'm on the mend health-wise. I'm starting to feel good. And I'm making this video because I wanted to tell you about a tournament that I'm playing starting tomorrow. And that's in Brownsville, Texas. And it's a nine-round round-robin tournament comprised of the players that you see here on the spreadsheet. So 10 players total. Most are IMs and GMs, and 10 players, you can't play yourself, so nine rounds in total. And the Grandmaster Norm requirement for this tournament is six and a half points out of nine. This is one of the cool things about round robin tournaments. You can actually pinpoint the number of points you need to score that norm, whether it's an IM norm or a GM norm or whatnot. And in this case, for everyone in the field, it's six and a half out of nine. Obviously, the GMs don't have to worry about that. They're already grandmasters. But for everyone below that, we'll be vying for that score and trying to hit that or exceed it. So here I am uh, in the number three spot. This is not any ranking, mind you. It's just the number that they assigned to do the pairings. And my current FIDE rating as of January is 2451. And looking at this field, I feel pretty good. There's several players I haven't played before. I can just quick run down through the list and tell you who I have faced in the past. I've played Daniel Gurevich, faced him in Dallas. I played Andre Gorovitz. I played him most recently in a U.S. Chess League game. Wander Liang also faced him in Dallas. And I've played Eric Santarius, who's from Wisconsin, which is the neighboring state to me here in Minnesota. So I played about half the field before. Uh, you notice that no one is far and away higher than anyone else. So who's the highest rated player? Is it Stu Copen at 2558? So I feel like that's someone who on a good day, I definitely have chances to beat. So I think this tournament is wide open. And even though six and a half out of nine is tough, I'm optimistic that I can fight for that score. And I'll be doing my best to gather the wins in pursuit of that number. So as I described, it's in Brownsville. And it's January 5th through 10th. The schedule is a little bit weird. I didn't post the exact round times. Uh, I'll do that either in the description of this video or in the comments. The time control is 90 uh, minutes for 40 moves. And then if the game is still going after that, you get an additional 30 minutes per side. And there's a 30 second increment throughout the game. The tournament in Vegas was a 10 second delay. And this is 30 seconds increment. So you actually get 30 seconds added per move. A little bit long. I actually prefer just game 90 plus 30, not having that extra 30 minutes. But um, the uh, the schedule is such that on a couple days, we only play one round. So that helps things a little bit. And now the game broadcast, which probably you guys are most interested in if you're going to follow this tournament, is going to be on Chess Bomb. This is the direct link to it. I'll show you Chess Bomb in a second for those of you who don't know about Chess Bomb. It's a great site to follow uh, top-level tournaments and even more minor tournaments like this. And that's pretty much all the pertinent information. Um, I'm really looking forward to, to this tournament. I haven't had a chance to prepare very much just because this came pretty late. I was only asked to play this tournament uh, at the end of December, basically. So uh, very recently, there was a player who had to drop and I was kind of the one who was filling in. But 
hey, it's a GM norm opportunity and I want to make the most of it. So just to show you guys, here is Chess Bomb if you've never been here. And if you go to the Chess Bomb main site, it's this link on the left-hand side, First University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley, IM Norm and GM Norm chess tournaments. There's an IM Norm section as well, but um, I don't know too much about that one because they don't actually have a site for this tournament yet, a website. If they if they do post one, I'll I'll link it. So yeah, once you click on this, all the games will start appearing once they begin play, and you'll be able to follow me live on Chess Bomb. Just to give you guys an idea where this tournament is taking place, I went to good old Google Maps. Uh, here I am in Minneapolis. So I'm going way down here to South Texas, like literally by the border uh, to Mexico, as I was describing. I've never been uh, to a chess tournament in Brownsville. I've been to South Padre Island before, which is also very close. But uh, yeah, this, this tournament will be interesting because the university it's hosted at has a really strong chess team. Uh, University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley, which used to be UT Brownsville. And that's true of a lot of Texas schools, actually. I went to UT Dallas. Uh, also, Texas Tech is a big chess school. And UT Brownsville as well. So they've got just strong chess programs scattered all around the state. So, yeah, this is where I'll be playing chess for the next week. Kind of my last tournament before I probably take a break from nine rounders for at least uh, two or three months, I would say. I'm still going to play a lot of GM norm tournaments in 2016. That's the plan right now. But given that I, this will be my fourth tournament in about the last month and a half, I'll probably take a slight break and kind of reevaluate and try to improve my play and um, see where I'm at. So anyways, I hope you guys uh, will be able to follow me if you're interested in doing so. And Thank you guys for the support. I know a lot of you guys were just as bummed, if not more, uh, than I am that I had to withdraw from Vegas. And I figured I should just make this video too because uh, it's, it's just real cool to see you guys supporting me in my chess endeavors. And uh, I feel I would be remiss in not telling you what I've been up to. So anyways, Happy New Year once again to everyone. Best of luck with your chess in 2016. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.